Greetings and welcome to an LGR blurb about whatever is in here. <laughs> I mean, I kind of know, but I kind of don't. So this is, this is fascinating. Uh, this is something called ChevTech or Chevy Tech. Disc Drive Heartbeat of America by Chevrolet. Yeah, so this is General Motors product from the 80s. Some software. Uh, I don't know exactly how it works. I haven't actually tried it out, but um, yeah, let me just show you what I do know about it, which is very little. So this was donated recently by a viewer named Kyrie. And so this is, they, they couldn't find much, um, but I'll show you what they did find. And uh, yeah, there's actually not a whole lot of information about this online. Look at this delightful thing here. Disc drive a Chevy. Ah uh, ha I see what they're doing there. So instead of a test drive, it's like a disc drive. Brr. Uh, with Chevy Tech, the personal computer program that allows you to build your own Chevy car or light truck. The 1987 version of the software, which I don't know which version I have. There's no date on it. Well, maybe we'll find out here soon. Uh, shown being demonstrated by Christine Lupke at an auto show display. Indeed. So apparently it was for Apple II, Commodore 64, or IBM PC. We have the IBM PC version here. It was available to order from them for $3.00. Uh, and was also, uh, from like what little else I was reading, was just sort of available in all sorts of places uh, that you'd get Chevy things. So like dealerships and auto shows and just whatever. You could order one no matter where you were. Kind of sounds like Ford Simulator or the things that you know Buick was doing. All sorts of companies had these back in the day, but I don't know if it's going to have like any games. Well, games like Ford Simulator did. We'll just try and hopefully uh, the disc is still good. So, yeah. And what I do have here, uh, this is the IBM XT Model 286 that I did a restoration on in LGR a little bit ago. So, um, yeah, putting it to use because it seemed appropriate. Oh, one tiny little update. Let's, let's just see if the disc works first. Hold on. Okay, wow, that's good. So we've got a lot of files. Let's see what they actually are in terms of dates and such. Okay, so 86, 87. So this seems to be the 87 release, which is cool. So that is, <laughs> that looks like the one that Christine was demonstrating here. Cool. Anyway, yeah, the um, the update to this computer is just a tiny one. So if you saw that video, there were the cork feet on the bottom. One of them was missing. Some others had sort of moved out of place. That just happens with these. The adhesive goes wrong and such. I was actually able to track down a new old stock selection of cork feet for the bottom of these IBM PCs and clones and such. And these are pretty popular at the time and you can still find them online. They were also in the bottom of like IBM uh, keyboards, Model M's and F's and such. Got some of those too. But anyway, I just put some on the bottom here and now it looks and feels a whole lot better after some cleaning up. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's like one of those tiny little touches that I, I wish I had those cork feet when I did the original restoration video, but I didn't. Uh, anyway, now they're on there. So just imagine cork feet underneath. <laughs> so let's see, how does this actually work? We have um, a bunch of text files, a com file, ChevTech. Let us just run that. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and make an image of this disk, and then we'll run it. All right. So I've got it backed up. I just don't want it to go wrong or anything. Backed up perfectly fine. So. Uh, should be good to go. So let's just run that Chev Tech, see what we get. Mm. That's just going to keep going. So this is the heartbeat of America. I guess this was like some of their advertising campaign at the time. Chevy 1970 or 1911 to 1986, their 75th anniversary. So I still don't know if that means this is the 87 or the 86 version. It's celebrating up to 86, but anyway. 
Right, today Chevrolet Chevy invites you to take th uh, this disk drive as a unique way to sample the value that awaits you at your local Chevy dealer. The power that moves America. Today is Chevy and you. Okay. Oh man. Wow, this just looks like a straight up. Uh... I mean, I was expecting it to be kind of an ad, but it looks like more of an ad than even Ford Simulator was. At least that lets you like play around with some things. Maybe this will too. I don't know. Well, look at all of these. Ugh. Oh. Classics and some not so classics. <laughs> oh goodness. The Sprint, the Spectrum. I had a friend who had like a late 80s Beretta. Uh, that, that brings back some memories. Yep, looked just like that too. In fact, I believe those were the police cars and was it Knight Rider 2000 or something? <laughs> anyway, random memories. Uh, yeah, two door coupe for the GT coupe. Okay, so this looks like you can configure your own cars. I mean, it did mention you could build your cars in the wherever this came from. Chevy Public Relations. I'm, I'm digging those CGA graphics, though, that line art. Oh my goodness, okay. So, all right, so there's different packages you can get. Well, that's not so much building a car as it is just configuring a car, but that's cool. You know. All right, let's let's go over the full package. Oh, here we go. This looks like it can. Yeah. Oh. So you can individually add options. No charge for emissions equipment. Well, I don't want it. Get rid of it. <laughs> oh, neat. So yeah, you can build your car. That's cool. Nice. Oh, look at all these things. AM, FM, stereo with stuff. All sorts of things. Cassette, equalizer. Oh, my goodness. Radio delete? That's interesting. Yeah, let's delete the radio. Extended range sound is no charge. What is that? I wish you could... Uh, like, like open up the, the thingy to see what exactly they are. There are no interior options on this car. No exterior options either. Oh, well, whatever. It's the GT Coupe, so. But yeah, in Ford Simulator, you could, uh, man, kind of like a graphical demonstration, at least on Ford Sim 2 and 3 and beyond, uh, a little graphical demonstration and, like, more details of, of some of the things. So you could, like, individually look at them. Okay, that's already included. So is that. Well, why is it giving me the option? All right, whatever. So there's, uh, there's a lot of things. Other options. Performance handling package, yeah. Ooh, I got all sorts of things. Look at all this stuff. <laughs> With the radio delete. You can print your selections out. Don't have a printer um, installed. Financing. Oh, man. 12.5% <laughs> interest rate-ish. Yeah, that's just the example. This will be pretty handy to have set up in a dealership. I can see this being pretty awesome, actually. So... Apparently that was uh, one use case scenario for this. Sorry, I just noticed the line going up the screen there. I don't have this quite synced to the CRT. My apologies. I thought that I did, but I don't. Now I'm second guessing my setup here. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so let's look at something. I'll, let's just look at the graphics of things. I don't, I don't need to configure every car in the game. Or the program. Oh my goodness. The Sprint. I don't know if I've ever seen one of those in person. That That is a car. Six grand. Wow. I mean, it's not quite, you know. It's getting into the Hyundai Yugo territory, but... Oh my goodness. Spectrum four-door. Late 80s Nova. That's a thing. Wow, look at that. Five-door hatchback. I guess we can't see what that looks like. It's just going to show the sedan graphically. There's only so many graphics it can include on this. This is like a 360K disc. So uh, let's get out of here. All right. Oh. <laughs> Look at all those options for the Cavalier. Oh, man. Uh, these things have just, like, disappeared from the road, too. I can't remember the last time I saw a Cavalier of this era. I already looked at the Beretta. Corsica. 
There we go. What is this thing? I remember the name. Oh, yeah, man. Those were a lot all over the places, too. Mm hmm. The Celebrity. Another one I haven't seen in just years. Look at that generic GM design. Fantastic. Monte Carlo. Heck yeah, dude. Oh, dude. Still see those every so often. Uh, usually they've been like tricked out to no end with all sorts of extras, but uh, seeing a stock one is actually still pretty special. Got the Broham. <laughs> oh man, a friend of mine had a Caprice as well. Not that one, it's much older. I think it was a 76, 77 maybe? I don't remember. That thing was fun. Oh, that's a fun car too. Good old IROC Z28. Heck yeah. Just want to see what the options are. $12,000. Well, about thirteen grand. Before dealer markups or any, any kind of nonsense. Okay. Vinyl high back bucket seats. Disc and drum brakes. Reclining front bucket seats. High mounted stop lamp. Awesome. I mean, you know, got to go with those mandates. <laughs> option package one option package two tint all windows nice dude look at all these things front air conditioning wow <laughs> comfort tilt steering wheel comfort tilt oh man so many options that's awesome that would have been so so cool back in the day uh, a friend of mine had one of these too <laughs> I don't remember what year it was. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Dude, C4s, man. Uh, Uncle had an 86, and it was black. It was wonderful. A lot of fun that was to ride around in. Wasn't old enough to drive then, but yes. Took me around doing burnouts and stuff. <laughs> oh, dude. I just like the uh, like the like the dash. It had the digital display and such. It was super cool. The EL. Not familiar with that one. Four wheel drive S10. Now that's still being in demand these days. They're smaller trucks. It was in good shape. Yeah. So now we're getting into things I'm really not very familiar with at all. But hey, trucks. 1987 pickups. Yeah, let's take a look at this. Oh, that is a straight up 70s design. Look at that. That is wonderful. I didn't realize they went up until the late 80s like that, or at least the mid 80s. So yeah, I guess this would be the 1986 version. It's talking about the 87s, and some of the files are dated 87, but I don't know. It looks pretty darn similar, just in terms of the screenshot I'm seeing, but I don't know. I'd be curious if anyone could find any other versions of this. I will be uploading the image to this one, to archive.org, as I always do. Uh, so you can check this out at your own leisure. But, uh, oh, look at that. S10 Blazer. Classic. Friend had one of those, too. Man, I'm realizing, like, all my friends had Chevy things back in the day. Good grief. All of them. <laughs> oh, what in the world? I never had one. I had a Subaru. I mean, which is fine. Subaru Impreza. I can't complain. Oh, dude. Suburban. Yep. Rode around in one of those many, many years. That thing was, uh, that thing was nuts. It smelled like gasoline all the time. Oh. I just remember those like carpeted rear seats that from hey, it was like a late seventies model, I believe. These are always fun too. Uh, just hanging around in the back with all the other kids in the neighborhood or whatever. Some mom always had an Astro van. <laughs> Financing. Finally, we're getting to something else here. Okay, estimated price of vehicle. All right, so that you can just uh, you know sixty nine thousand dollars. Trade in estimate. <laughs> nope. Cash down. Uh, let's just put 40 grand. Yeah. Interest rate. Yeah, sure. We'll go up there. Recommend. Number of months. 36. Wow. Look at that calculation. Pretty amazing. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for Chevy Tech. 
not as not as fun as I thought it would be in terms of <laughs> like what Ford Simulator provides. I'm much more fond of that because you can at least drive around the cars or one example of a Ford sort of drag racing and such. But this is pretty darn cool as well, I gotta say. So uh, again, if anybody has any of the other versions, especially for the other systems, I'm not finding any record of them online, like if anybody's backed them up. So if you have, or if maybe just keep an eye out for them on eBay or something, please do. I love collecting these things. I've got a lot of them, way more than this. Uh, but this is one I'd never heard of. So thanks to Kyrie for sending this in so I could back it up and share it with mm, the world's posterity. Yeah, that's it. That is this blurb. Thanks for watching.